We are in one of the most charming places I have ever seen. I'm with Mary Jane Musial, and we are in her tea room in her home. I know. It's beautiful. Why, thank you. She teaches etiquette and manners. I do. It's called Charm to Meet You, and it really is charming. How did you get this idea? This is really, really beautiful. Well, I actually was inspired by my husband. About 20 years ago, he treated me for my birthday I, to a manners and tea etiquette class. And when I went in, I was transformed into another era that mm -hmm. I did not even know existed. I was just really hooked. And I wanted to make sure that everyone felt special. And so I took it home and I started my own manners class. All right, well, she's going to teach us how to feel special as well. And I have a special little friend here. Wonderful. Who do we have here? A little helper named Tess. Oh, my Who is gosh. going to help us. Hi, Tess. Hi. Well, I'm going to start off with greeting in a minute. But now that we have three, it looks like we have a party. So when we have a party, we all have to get party hats. <laughs> do you like to wear hats? Yes. Yay. OK, so party Tess. Hats. Oh, here you go. I'm going to set you up right here. There you go. And I'm going to get mine because I love to wear hats. All right. Okay. I'm getting one too. So All right. Then. So Tess, the first thing, we're going to talk about three things today. Greeting, seating, and eating. Pretty fun, huh? And manners, you know what? We want to make them fun. So all kids are just like, oh, manners, I don't want to do that. But if you make it fun, we're just going to have a great day today. First thing, greeting. And we're going to start out with um, firm handshake. So can you give me a firm handshake? Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> Where, have you been working out? <laughs> that is amazing. Okay, a little bit softer, but the same way. Wonderful. And look at me in the eyes because looking in the eyes with the person shows confidence. And that's what we want to do. So we always want to make sure that we're looking at the eyes. And then we're going to break away. And then we're going to introduce ourselves. And I'm going to say, hi, I'm Mary Jane. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Tess. Nice to meet you. Wonderful. Okay, really that simple. Keep it really simple and easy so you're always wanting, when someone comes into a room, get up, put your hand out, shake it, and introduce yourself. And eight years old is not too early to teach your I'm child so how to impressed. do that. I'm so impressed. Wonderful. Well, it looks like we're off to a great start. Okay. I'm going to twist your hat because it's all about looking pretty on camera, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next. Next thing we're going to do is seating. So, actually, I'm going to use the chair behind okay. you. Okay. And Tess, so I'm going to share a little bit about what we're going to do first. I'm going to have you um, come in from the right-hand side. So, you're going to be walking up to the table as if you're going to sit down. And I'm going to pull the chair out. Okay, when I pull the chair out, I'm going to have you stand in front. You don't have to look back or anything. The person behind you, sitting you, is just going to, as soon as it gets to your knees, did you feel that? Yeah. That's when you want to go in. And I'm going to lift you up just a little and push you forward. Okay, that's it. So that's the seating part. So Mary Jane, now that she's seated, are there certain rules to how you sit? There are a couple things, and she's already doing one of them really well. Tess is sitting perfectly straight. She has her elbows in, which is great, and never elbows on the table, of course. But when she sits down, you want to make sure that your feet are close together or crossed at the ankle. At the ankle. At the ankle. That makes sense. Exactly. Now the first thing you do? for the napkins. We're going to take up our napkin, put it straight in your lap, and have the fold for you, towards you. That way you know, is it the tablecloth or is it the napkin that you're going to be um, using? If she needs to be excused, real easy. Just keep the napkin on the chair. Leave it on the and chair. And then when she comes back, she can pick it up and because that means that tells everybody that she's still going to use their napkin. Now, what about when you're completely finished? When you're finished, just go ahead and put it on the left-hand side. Um, don't fold it back up. Just put it exactly how you've done it. Just, pick, just place it up and place it down there. Not in the plate. No. To the left. To that the makes left. Very. And sense. speaking of this table, it looks kind of uh, there's a lot going on here. Uh -huh. There is. <laughs> a little confusing. So I'm going to only point out a couple of things. And the first thing I think that's most confusing is everybody always asks which drink is mine. So I'm going to have you do something. Ready? Put this. Go like this. Put this on your head and pull it out. What do you got there? What letters? B O D. Okay. B stands for bread. <coughs> D stands for drink. That's huge, especially when you're at a banquet table and you've got all sorts of play settings and you're not sure what's 
<laughs> with chores right. and what's was not. Was that helpful? That was hugely helpful. I learned something today. Wonderful. Well, That's amazing. Looks like we're ready for brunch. So let's, uh, let's call Chef David and see if he's ready and you got something for us. <laughs> Chef David, we're ready for brunch. What have you got for us? Honey, I'm watching the game. Can you wait a minute? Oh my gosh, I obviously need to teach him manners too. Well, <laughs> manners are, in, are easy and fun to do. Just simply start by saying... Please and thank you. Wonderful. Very good. I'm totally impressed, and I learned something today. I hope that you did, too. Thank you so much, Mary Jane. My pleasure. If you'd like to learn more about Mary Jane's wonderful classes, Charm to Meet You, just go to our website, fusionnw.com. Thank you.